and all seem quite confident that uh, they will be able to hold a free, fair, transparent election on Saturday. Um, we've also had an opportunity to talk to a number of the candidates who also feel uh, I'm ready. Now that's not to say there's no challenges, all right? That's just a call a spade a spade. But there are challenges in any election. But uh, they all seem to, to feel that they can uh, 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 surmount these, you know, uh, challenges related to the uh, issue of uh, demonetization, challenges related to security. But they all feel that they are going to be able to uh, overcome these challenges so that uh, we can have a verdict that is a true representation of the will of the people of Nigeria. But how difficult is that given, you know, what, what the challenges you've just mentioned, you know, the cash crunch, the cost of living um, crisis, um, which is not only a Nigerian thing, um, and the insecurity, you know, that just almost pervades this land. How difficult is it then to host an election in such circumstances? Well, you, you see, and that's why I said there are challenges, and, 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 and I think uh, that, 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 that nobody can, can, can deny. But equally, despite the challenges, we cannot deny the people of Nigeria that opportunity to exercise their democratic right, and that is actually what is happening. And, and uh, you will always, in any election, in any part of the world, not just Nigeria, not just the African continent, always have challenges. The question, and the key question, is despite those challenges, how well prepared are we? Yeah? Is there the political goodwill to allow the people to exercise that right? Is there a willingness on the part of security agencies and the uh, uh, um, electoral commission and all bodies playing to, 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 to give and, 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 and to roll out a free, fair, uh, verifiable exercise. Well, mine and my uh, hope is that the security situation and coupled with the, 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 the demonetization does not result in, in probably lower than expected turnout. Right? The second would be that uh, all parties, yeah, in accordance with the charter that was signed yesterday, the, 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 the peace deal. I mean, already that has been broken. I mean, politicians were killed just last night in, um, in the southeast, a few hours after that peace deal was signed. Even when we were there yesterday, uh, President Abu Bakr, former president, did indicate and he went through and listed all the areas. And even now, there will be those areas. But there is, what I'm saying, the commitment that has come through. The monitoring is there. That's why we're all here. That's why you are here to ensure that uh, uh, um, th these challenges are overcome. And that's why I keep saying it's not that there's going to be no challenges. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying there will not be challenges. right? But will we still be able to proceed with the process and produce a credible result? That's really the focus and I think that's why we are here and all I'm saying is I do believe there is that commitment but we have two parts to it we have the lead up to the election and the election itself and then we have post election where we really want to just continue to encourage all players to live work and resolve whatever disputes they'll have through legal and constitutional mechanisms which are in place, right? This is, 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 is our hope. And my belief is that it will happen, but like I said, um, it's a wait and see, it's a wait and see game. And at this stage of, 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 of where the game is at currently, mine is that all of us are just trying to appeal to all participants, all who are involved in this process, right? That let us have a peaceful process, to let the will of the people rule and let us accept the results of whatever the process shall be.